Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I promised us that I was going to share with us how God reveals to you your kingdom spouse, the spiritual aspect of it. How does God reveal to you? How does God confirm to you? How does God show you your kingdom spouse? The first thing that God does is God will display them before you. God will bring your kingdom spouse your way. The two of you will meet somehow. It will not likely be in church. It could be. But most often there is all you, you, you meet somewhere. It could be in the market. It could be in a shop. It could be at the mall. It could be anywhere. The Bible says, God, but God will bring them your way. God will display your kingdom spouse before you. God didn't create Eve and then took Eve out of the garden so that Adam would get up and, and go look for Eve somewhere, take a, 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 a journey to go look for a kingdom spouse. No, God placed Eve where Adam could see her. The word that, you, that, that is used there means to display, to display. God displayed Eve where Adam could see her. So God did not come to Adam to tell Adam that this is your wife. No, God simply just displayed Eve where Adam could see her. So there is going to be a place. God will, will ensure you meet each other. So Ruth will go to the farm. Not because Ruth is looking for a husband, but because she is hungry. But while at the farm, God will lead her to find herself in the vineyard of Boaz, in the farm that is owned by Boaz. So somehow God will orchestrate a meeting, an encounter. And that encounter is not meant for marriage. The second sign, the second way that, 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 that God shows you your kingdom spouse, that God reveals to you your kingdom spouse, is that God will show you a sign. God will show you a sign. The Bible says in the book of Genesis that Abraham instructed his servant to go look for a wife for, for Isaac. And the servant was not sure. So the servant simply made a prayer and, and said the God of his father should give him this and this and this sign. Let him encounter this the, the, the woman in the, uh, by the well and the woman would give him water. So there were signs that were involved. And the signs and Rebecca was there at the right time and did exactly everything. So that was the sign to the, to the servant that this indeed is the wife for my husband. For, for, for my master's son is the wife that God has chosen for my master's son. So God will give you signs. Sometimes something that God had told you or shown you or had shown you in time past, when you encounter this man or this lady, all of a sudden God will bring that to your remembrance. God will bring you that all of a sudden you find yourself in a place with him or with her and there is this deja vu. You feel all of a sudden like you have lived this scenario before. That you have experienced this before. Sometimes I've heard people talk about they saw themselves in the dream getting married and now you've got to be differentiate this bit to know the difference between your hormones and your emotions and your desires. You've got to know exactly how God talks to you. You, so that you know that this is not my hormones going wild. This is not my desire. This, God will give you signs. God will give you specific signs to let you know that it is him. And the third way is that the moment you encounter that person, you become better. You realize that attributes of your life, some of your weaknesses, you begin to automatically start working on them. You become better than you were before you met them. Your prayer life becomes better. Your Bible study life becomes better. Every time you guys meet, maybe you are sharing the word of God, you are talking about, before you know it, maybe by reason of the zeal that they have for soul winning, you realize that you are beginning to be interested in soul winning. You are beginning to go out for evangelism. Somehow you used to drink or you used to, 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 to go out party, and you realize that you can do something more productive. When you encounter someone, and that encounter brings out the worst in you rather than the best in you, that is not a kingdom husband or wife. When you are being around them, brings out the best in you instead of the best in you, that is not a kingdom husband or wife. When you encounter the right person, God will reveal them to you by making you realize that you are becoming better as you are spending time with them. You realize that you are, your purposes align. You realize that there is compatibility in purpose. 
There is compatibility in purpose. There is compatibility in your work with God. They realize that you can help them fulfill God's purpose for their life and they can help you fulfill God's purpose for your life. This is more important than love. This is more important than love. This is what will sustain each other. We will sustain your love as a matter of fact. This is what will help you to love each other. This is what will help you to stay married. This is what will sustain your marriage life. Compatibility in purpose. And last but not the least, your love. You realize that you are, at, you, 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 are, you, are, you are growing in love. The more you know them, the more you discover their strong point, their strengths, the more you discover even their weaknesses. It makes you know where you'll be valued in their lives. The more you discover their purpose, the more you love them. So the last but not the least is that you grow in love. So you realize, yes, there was there, there must have been an attraction somewhere along the line earlier on. But as time goes on, you begin to grow in love. You begin to grow to love each other. You begin to grow to to be more fond of each other hallelujah so these are the signs this is how god reveals to you your kingdom spouse this is how you get to know the one hallelujah be blessed shalom